treats him out. Cookie McDonald is perfectly right to call that as a penalty. Oh, he's changed his mind. He's saying it's a drop ball. Well, this is extraordinary. <laughs> Look at his position here. Now, when you see Hooper drawing it in here, takes a touch away, the keeper gets a touch of the ball. Then the, the linesman makes his way behind the goal. He makes his way behind the goal because at this point, Dougie McDonald has made the decision. Here's Will. I think he needs to make too many excuses. There are too many mistakes being made. And yesterday, Celtic had to fight tooth and nail, got a last-minute goal from Gary Hooper to set up this old firm spectacular on Sunday. But they shouldn't have been placed in that position. I think the referee judged them unfairly yesterday and Celtic should have won the match more comfortably than they did. Graham, that seems to be where a lot of the confusions come in, that the assistant referee gets involved, but Dougie McDonald was closer to the incident. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure, Sheila, about some of the comments that have been made here. I, I, I don't agree with you in terms of uh, the ineptitude of, of Dougie McDonald, the referee, as a whole. There were certain specific decisions. I don't agree with the caller. Celtic had to overcome 13 men in order to get this victory. Well, I put it to you like this. Uh, Dougie McDonald was fair in one regard, Celtic felt he was against Celtic and Dundee United felt he was against Dundee United. So they can't both be right. Peter Houston came out and I don't think really stopped short of accusing uh, Dougie McDonald of bias against Dundee United. Which is it? Was he against Celtic or was he against the United? Initiations next week. I hope he's been robbed. Good Willie. And let's just talk about this incident of the penalty that was awarded and then rescinded. Suppose Dougie McDonald did the right thing here. Just suppose for a minute he made a decision, even though he was on the spot, to give a penalty. The rule now is, the new rule introduced in the summer is that the linesman gets more and more involved, mm -hmm. is proactive. That's why he's no longer called a linesman, he's called an, an assistant referee. Now, as hard as many people might find it to believe, the linesman said to Dougie McDonald, I saw this better than you, mm -hmm. and it wasn't a penalty. You got it wrong. Well, Dougie McDonald said, okay, the rule is I, you're proactive, I rely on you, so he rescinded it. So I'll say this for Dougie McDonald. If he was upsetting anyone yesterday, he upset both teams equally, and secondly, he had the guts, live on television, in front of that audience, having given a penalty to immediately rescind it on the advice of a linesman, so I give him credit for these two points. The linesman in this situation said, right away to Dougie McDonald, by the way, I think you've got it wrong. The linesman was correct in doing that. Dougie McDonald was correct in going to him and saying, really? Let's talk about this for 20 seconds. The linesman in this situation said, right away to Dougie McDonald, by the way, I think you've got it wrong. The linesman was correct in doing that. Dougie McDonald was correct in going to him and saying, really? Let's talk about this for 20 seconds.
And the linesman said, I got a better view than you, and I don't think it was a penalty. So Dougie McDonald effectively overturned his own decision. By the, by the recent law, you tell me, apart from it being new to you, you tell me what was wrong with that. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. 